Before the war, piano was just an instrument to me. But here, it helped me to be myself. She's definitely one of the most kind of technically yeah. evocative. Yeah, it's, it's, it's she so knows what that technique so is. So focused. Exactly. I feel like it could go way further. Like there's still a little bit of reticence yeah. to let us in completely. I think she can do it. And if she can, then that would be magic on stage yeah. at the final concert in Manchester. She will be a virtual also on stage. How does that make you feel? You know, it feels always strange when you hear you and your voice from different kind of media. Yeah. <laughs> but that feedback from the judges, like they really liked you. Lang Lang said you could be a virtuoso. I mean, that I don't think he'd say that if he didn't mean it. You know, I didn't know that before I watched the first episode with me mm -hmm. in that episode. I didn't know what they're going to say. And it was very... Uh, unexpected as well yeah. because yeah they choose me but it was for me everything like in fairy tale oh my god what's going on <laughs> are you kidding me <laughs> really really I will have this chance I remember that carpet in that in the room, room yeah. in the room because they speak a lot before welcome you can long long blah 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 everyone was good blah 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 and I was looking on that carpet and just oh come on tell tell us tell yeah. us <laughs> the anticipation it, it, it was it was unbelievable it, it, everything was like in the fog you know it seemed like it to be fair though because when you're when you're talking to the camera it does seem a little bit like you're really overwhelmed <laughs> with with what's happening but then you sat down on that piano and you were so composed tell me about your journey with the piano and when you started playing because you seem like a pro sat down on at the, at the piano well I started playing piano when I was five um because uh, that time it was 19th and Ukraine became independent and it was very difficult time uh, for every family, I think. And to keep away from trouble, <laughs> my mom put me in music school and that's how my journey with piano started. So when you say trouble, are you talking about trouble for you? Were you a bit naughty? No, I have not been. Outside was, I mean, it was not good time. <laughs> A lot of people, they lost job and economic crisis in the country. And then you didn't actually have a piano when you started? Yes, my parents, they couldn't provide piano. Yeah, I was playing on <laughs> playing on <laughs> a piece of paper. Wow. Yes. So tell me what it was like to go from playing on a piece of paper, because I think we've all done that one time in our lives. I remember I used to pretend to play the drums in my room. Yeah, you have to pretend. To pretend, yeah. This is develop your, <laughs> your imagination, <Yeah. laughs> you know, in a hearing very well. But then when you, when you finally did sit in front of a piano or a keyboard, did that feel really natural for you? I remember just it was kind of magic because at home I had just my paper keyboard <laughs> yeah. and then I came to lesson and uh, it was like a, a challenge. Okay, we will see what I had learned at home on the piece of paper. <laughs>